Right. One, two. Ooh, that's sweet. Today I'm reviewing Sweetwater from Angel Studios. It's about Nat Sweetwater Clifton. He was the first African American basketball player in the NBA. He broke the racial boundaries a lot like Jackie Robinson did. It's an inspiring story based on true events. It stars Everett Osborne as Sweetwater, Carrie Ellews as Ned Irish, Jeremy Piven as Joe Lapichick, Kevin Pollock as Abe Saperstein, and Richard Dreyfus as Maurice Podoloff. And there's also some smaller parts that other pretty well-known actors show up in. So I remember as a kid watching the Harlem Globetrotters on TV. I've even been to a few Harlem Globetrotters performances, and they are a blast. If you're not that familiar with them, they were a team that were put together to kind of showcase the skills of African-American basketball players. And because they weren't allowed to play in the NBA, well, they kind of did like this whole barnstorming thing. And they went from town to town and played games against teams that were put together by the town or, as you'll see in the movie, by Abe himself. And this running theme throughout Sweetwater is that here are the Harlem Globetrotters. They're the best basketball players in the U.S., and they can't play in the NBA because some of the team owners are racist and they don't want Negroes in their league. Throughout the film, we see this juxtaposition of how players are playing in the NBA versus how the Globetrotters were playing. And you see some of the team owners who are saying, look, this is the future, the way the Globetrotters are playing, and we need to get players like this into our league because they'll fill the seats and they'll fill the stadiums. I thought it was very interesting to kind of see this theme of, yes, on one hand, there were some owners who were interested in saying, look, these men are equal to us and they should be able to play with white folk. And, but on the other hand, there were some players who were, who were really just thinking about the fact that this would be a financial boom for them because it would be entertaining. And I think this is where we kind of start seeing this idea of sports entertainment develop. And, and I really like that. You see this burgeoning sports entertainment market that's opening up because one of the things that they often point out is that this is entertaining to watch these men play like this. A theme that runs throughout this movie is the idea of doing what you're good at, doing what you've been gifted at doing. There's no real overt idea of this is what God designed you to do, this is what God made you to do. But throughout the film, you see Sweetwater looking at his hands. And that's because his mother told him, look, you've got these hands that were given to you and you need to do um, what these hands were made to do. One interesting thing about this movie and about the script in particular is that there are times they use the N-word and we're talking hard R here. I was really surprised to see that. And I would love to have the opportunity to talk to some of the African Americans that were in the movie and what they thought about that. I know in the past with some movies, there has been a lot of controversy over using that slur and being able to do it in a way that is just kind of demonstrating that this is how people spoke back then and it wasn't right. And I think they handled it very well. There's one particular scene where it was just handled so well between a father and a son. You're going to have to watch the movie to see it. It really, uh, I'm, I'm tearing up right now even thinking about it because a father has to chastise his son because he used that word. Even though he was only repeating what he had heard, he was asking about the word. And it was a very powerful scene. 
and I thought it was handled very well. It was clearly written well, directed well. You know, this is a conversation that if you're a parent, you have at times with your kids because they come home hearing certain words and ask you what those words mean. And you have to have that conversation. Uh, and I thought it was handled very well. There were a number of very emotional scenes uh, that that I thought were done quite well, written well, acted well, clearly directed well. Overall, I thought the movie was executed quite well. I think all the actors did a great job. There were a number of montages where we saw the Harlem Globetrotters playing, just doing their thing, and it was really, really great to see. Currently, Sweetwater is streaming on the Angel app or over at angel.com. It's got a runtime of about 115 minutes. It's got a rating of TV 14 is what they have on their site. So uh, around a PG-13 type rating, be aware of those racial slurs if you are sensitive to them and also some of the attitudes towards racism. If you watch this with your kids, you, this is a great opportunity to have a conversation with them about some very unfortunate attitudes in people of the past and maybe even today and how to handle that with grace and courage. I highly recommend Sweetwater to you. Check it out today. Bye.